one thing that China wants, but it doesn't have, is the world's most advanced semiconductors. That's right. That's what the United States has. Will you chips in particular? Chips. That's yeah. right. Will you allow the chip maker Nvidia to sell their most advanced chips to China? No, no, we won't do that. But it's not on the table at all. We will let them uh, deal with Nvidia. Nvidia is the prime uh, company in the world for that, and we will let them deal with Nvidia, but not in terms of the most advanced. The most advanced, we will not let anybody have them other than the United States. Because then they would win the AI race. Well, they wouldn't win it necessarily, but they would certainly have uh, an equal advantage. We are leading the AI race right now by a lot. Uh, the AI race is a big deal. Look, this is a very competitive world, especially when it comes to China and the U.S. And uh, we're always watching them, and they're always watching us. Uh, and we can buy them inexpensively from other places in the world, while we can lead the world in AI and chips and lots of other things. Within uh, two years from now, we'll have 40 or 50 percent of the chip market. What's happening? In two years, we'll start opening up plants and we'll have a very substantial portion of the chip market. Uh, right now, we have almost none. We had presidents that knew anything about business or knew what they were doing because, frankly, they didn't. We lost 50 percent of our automobile business. We lost 100 percent of the chip. And what happened is other countries came in and they stole our chip business and we didn't charge tariffs. Now they're all coming back, Nora, because the only way they avoid the tariffs is to build in our country. And this is why we have $17 trillion being invested in the United States right now. But just to show you how big that is, it's the biggest in history by many times. We have $17 trillion, more than $17 trillion right now. By the time we finish up, I think we're going to have over $20 trillion invested in the United States or to be invested in, uh, because of jobs, because they're building plants. We're bringing back the auto industry into our country. We lost 58 percent of the automobile manufacturing business to other countries.